Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Souling the Ark. I'm Flinger Foo, and so I t today we've got to head up towards the. Uh, um, we we at least have to go around. We have to set up uh, the uh, shacks like we have down the Green Beacon because on single player the Green Beacon it's exclusive to the Broodmother. So we can't just uh, sit down. We can't just send all of our dinos down there and go. Okay, I want to fight the Broodmother. I want to fight the Megapithecus. I want to fight the Dragon. You can't do it um, because each beacon is exclusive to a different boss. So the Green Beacon is Broodmother only. I know. I know. I don't know why they did that, but hey, you know what? It's a thing. And so it's a thing I have to overcome. And so also, if you guys are. Um, playing on single player as well it's the thing you guys will have to overcome if you're not playing on single player or if you're playing on a public server or if you're playing on a private server then you guys should be able to go down to hell you can go to the one of the beacons outside that comes down that gives you loot pile your dinos you know plant where one comes down pile your dinos around it and then when it does come down um go to the boss fight you can do that on single player, you can't do that. That's not a thing on the single player, which kind of sucks. So today, we're going to head up into the frozen biome, and we're going to get ready for the uh, Megapithecus. Now, I've been already uh, crafting a few things. So, um, yeah, I've, I, I got some uh, fur armor crafted up, and then we got some uh, enough stuff for... I'm thinking a shack. It doesn't have a door on it yet. I might go... I might go quickly grab the stuff for a door, but I don't know, I think maybe a doorless, no, it needs a door, <laughs> but yeah, um, okay, and then also, I was going to make up just one bed, that's all I have, I'm missing, missing thatch, okay, well, let's, let's go get some thatch so where we can get a second bed on there, because we're gonna need a second bed, we're also gonna need a storage box, which, and I'm, I've already used up all the wood out of there, I'm grabbing the wood from in here, over on B, all right, Thank you. All right, so grab one of those, and then storage. Let's see, where's the storage box? There we go. Bam! Nailed it. All right, so now, ah, yes, now we've got to head all the way up there, probably with thinking super dodo. Well, we could fly. Can you? Can we get up there? You think you got good enough stamina to fly all the way up there? I don't know. Well, let, let's put this stuff away. All right. So, um, I'm looking around here, and I'm trying to figure out where would probably be the best spot for the shack. And I'm thinking probably over here. Yeah, I I, I think this is going to be it. Now, right, let's see. Um, get these. Oh, hey. Can you uh, carry these medical brews? Because I apparently brought them when I didn't need them. Because I haven't cleaned out my inventory yet from the last boss fight. I know, I know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, get a door. Right there. And then... And also, see all this uh, crystal and metal that's lying around up here? I mean, uh, if you guys are strapped for uh, um, having a metal base... By any chance, this right here is a, or not a metal base, but a metal refinery area. This spot right here has got tons and tons and tons of metal up here. Which, I mean, it, it's really awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome. So, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I quite a few times I've uh, resorted to coming up here and pilfering all the, uh, all the crystal from up here. I mean, it, it's it's literally just everywhere. I mean, there's some here, around over here, some down there, and then also over on this side, over on this back side, there's some over there as well. Yeah, the mountain has crystal on the back side. So, yeah. All right, and then also over there, there's a bunch of crystal. It's really awesome. It's really, really awesome. Oh, forgot. I forgot. I got talking. I got sidetracked. All right. Uh, can I hit it? Are we gonna need a ramp, dude? Is that is that? A... Ah, finally nailed it. All right, <laughs> all right. So let's put down the beds. And the beds, for the most part, are just so where I can either fast travel or, um, 
recover anything that I need to that's in the area. Most, For the most part, it's just going to be fast travel. And I, I think I'm going to bring up a, another couple sets of fur armor and set it up inside there. So I can just fast travel, come up here, equip a set of uh, fur. Maybe I'll put uh, an additional canteen up in there. Do I have one on me? Yeah, let's put an additional canteen on there where we have it. And, yeah. So, yeah, so we can fast travel and everything. It's nice. It's nice. It's a nice little shack out in the mountains. Maybe I should do it up nice, you know, make it, you know, a nice shack in the mountains instead of just stone enclosure. <laughs> All right, so now that we're done and I was, uh, I'm back on track, let's take a look and let's see exactly what all we need for this. And see, look, the only things you can uh, summon up here are the three me um, Megapithecuses. It's weird, but yeah, that's kind of what I have to deal with. And then this thing, 5,000 metal. And I'm, I've been smelting up a ton of metal but um after the uh oh uh oh all the saddles i am i'm tapped out on metal so we need to get um that back up in gear okay so we need um megalania toxin oh wow okay we are not ready for this yet i was hoping i could get to this today but i don't have the megalania toxin i don't have all the spinosaurus saddles i do have the therizina claws and i don't have the thylacolio hook claws Okay, so we, we've got to go with a plan B for today. And a plan B should probably be hunting down Megalanias, Spinos, and Thylacolios. Because we do not have the amount of items that we need in order to get this. Alright. Alright, so you know what? I think we might have to go either caving or redwood redwooding but you know what let's let's go grab uh, oreo and let's go head out and about and go see what we can do um and actually you know maybe i'll go grab the baryonyx oh it's just snowdrift yeah may maybe i'll grab the baryonyx we'll go uh check see if we can find uh, any megalania about because if we're gonna do this we're gonna need probably about 20 of that so where we can do two runs. Because I'm thinking about just jumping head first into the alpha. But I at least want to try the gamma as well. Just to see how much. I mean, granted I can look up on the wiki and everything. But I want to see how much the difficulty levels of them as per our dinos. So I want to... Yeah, it's just when it comes to the Megapithecus, I don't want to do that fight that often. Because the boss... the in, inside the arena, there's a spot where your dinos can fall off the edge. Literally, fall off the mountain. And the moment they fall off, they're just dead. Kaput. They're gone. So that means that if I want to... I, the Megapithecus isn't really that great for farming. And in Season 2, I was farming the Megapithecus because, you know, it was kind of, he was super easy. He doesn't have nearly as many hit points as the Broodmother. I mean, not even close to as many hit points as the Broodmother. But every once in a while, I'd lose a dino just from the farming. Even though, you know, he was basically on farm status. I could go in, I could kill him in my sleep. But he... Every once in a straight, um, every once in a blue moon, I'd have a dino fall off the edge, which means I had to replace that dino, which sucked. So now I just want to, I want to get in there. I want to do them once, maybe twice, be done with it, and then just farm the medium brood mother because she's easy, well, easier, and, and she provides 28 uh, element, and yeah, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's uh, get over here. Let's uh, grab the baryonyx and let's go see if we can find some megalania. Um, toxin and some thylacolio claws and some uh, spino uh, sails. I mean, I realize it's not the most, that's not the most, uh, you know, best thing. But also maybe we can tame a mammoth while we're at it. Because, you know, we need a mammoth anyway. And I haven't tamed a mammoth on this series yet. So, yeah. All right. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right. So we're heading out from base. Is that a bloody dillo or is that just a red dillo? All right, so <laughs> since I got sidetracked by that, um, now that we're heading out from base, I got, uh, I only had 14 raptor eggs. So, I mean, I hope that's enough. And then, let's see, I don't need all this in there, so let's put that in there, go off your thing, and let's just put that there. Oh, I, I have, bam, all right, so cool. Now we've got an aberrant, or, yeah, aberrant, ramshackle sword, all right. Okay, fog's gone. I think it's time to head on in here. Um, 
All right, I'd just like to let it be known to all Thylacolio inside the Redwoods, um, don't jump off your trees and try to eat me. All right, just be on the ground and cooperate, and this will be really, really easy. And are you for real? Dude! Stupid. <laughs> he ate my spyglass. Get out of here. Later, dude. Take off, man. All right, let me have my thing back. All right. Thank you. All right. So, um, all right. And also, to all you Microraptors, okay, that's thinking about knocking me off the back of my Baryonyx when we go inside here, all right, I will eat you. I will shoot you in the butt, and it's going to hurt a lot. So just leave me alone, okay? All right? <laughs> and also, I want to hang out right along the edge over here so I can see any Spinos uh, that are potentially in there. Oh, Alpha over there. Oh, hey, cool. All right, so I can see any Spino. So I'm going to head down like this, see if I can see a Spino, and then cruise around. Oh, there's a Spino right there. Hey. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm, I'm in the process of thylacolio hunting and Spino hunting and... Dude, stop fighting back, right? No spino sail. Ah, all right, fine. All right, so now we have to head right alongside here, and then keep an eye over here as we're doing this, because thylo thylacolio hunting—it's ah, it—it's kind of nerve-wracking. It really is. And then you have carnos and stuff that always try to, you know, insert themselves, which, you know, they just end up dead. All right. Here. You guys see anything? I'm not seeing anything. All right. Bet you there's going to be one right over here. Later, dudes. Later, dudes. Still not seeing anything. Hmm. Right. Alright, well, I'm gonna be looking around. When I find some, I'll bring you guys back. But also, I mean, if I cover the entire thing, then it's gonna be a very long episode. So, yeah, and also we've still got caving to do. Plus, I also want to go see if we can get a mammoth. Yeah. All right, see you guys in a bit. And one thing I've noticed about thylacolios... Yeah, they almost always drop two hook claws. Let's see? Yeah, two at a time. It's, it's pretty cool. It, it makes it a lot easier. I mean, yeah, of course, we have to deal with the occasional getting knocked off our mount and... You know, all sorts of stuff like that. But, I mean, it makes it... You find one, and you know you're getting two hook claws. Unlike the uh, Spino Sails, where you find one, and you might get one. So, yeah. Alright. I think we're done hunting Thylacolios and Spinos for a little bit. It's getting a little annoying. Alright, <laughs> let's see. Uh, so, I've got four Spino Sails and 16 uh, Thylacolio hook claws. And, unfortunately, I... Put my raptor eggs on Baryonyx, which is... Where'd you go, dude? Oh, you're over here. Okay. I put it on uh, the Baryonyx right before we headed into the uh, Redwoods, and I totally spaced it, so she ate two of them because she didn't have any fish meat on her. So now we're, we're minus two. So, but yeah, I think we're actually going to head back. We're going to grab Oreo, and then we're going to go see if we can find a mammoth because I need a mammoth... Because the amount of wood I've been going through and stuff like that lately, I mean, with all the saddles, and I mean, granted, I won't need the amount of saddles, and I won't need the amount of wood, but still, I need a mammoth in my life. I'm not asking why, it's just, I need something big and hairy, and be able to ride on it, and have it knock down trees for me. This has to happen. I need one. Alright? <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, and also I, I'm I need to start. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're just saber tooth. Oh, I thought you were something cool or cooler All Right. Oh, none of you be level 150. Okay 
Right? No. Good. Thanks for cooperating. All right, let's just drop all these. But yeah, I mean, spino sails, they're gonna be a pain. Because I've only gotten four so far, and I think I've killed about eight spinos. And you know, I've been all over uh, killing spinos, and only about, seems to, well, actually it's been about, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe it's a little less than that. <laughs> maybe it's been about six or seven spinos. But yeah, I mean, and I've only gotten four sails, though. So, I mean, they don't always drop the sail. So, which kind of sucks. Hello. 15. <gasps> what the? A 150 male Rex? Dude, I don't... I, I, I'm not taming Rexes today. You know what? Maybe I'll just knock him out just because. Um, Yeah, maybe I just won't do it on camera too much. But, I mean, I can't pass up a 150 Rex. I mean, it, it's new stock for our, for our Rex army. Are you the, no, you're, you're the weak one, right? Yeah, one, or 15. All right, let's, come on, dude, 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 stop. Thank you. All right. Hey, Mr. Rex. Hey, um. Hello. How you doing? Pay no attention to the guy shooting you in the face. Or the neck. All right? All right, what about the butt? That was the Diplo. Sorry, eat the Diplo while I... Stop! All right, I keep hitting the Diplo. I don't want to hit the Diplo. I want to hit you. There you go. Thank you. All right, I'm going to get this guy knocked out, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Some reason, this guy just won't get out of the water. He just really, really enjoys his bads. I, I... Dude, get out of the water. He started running. Now he's just circling the lake. It's like, it, it's fate. He just doesn't want me to tame him. Oh, now, now you're out. Oh, and of course I miss. Fine. Dude, get out of the water! <laughs> Dude! Are you for real? I, I need more fresh meat! Alright. <laughs> Stupid piranha. They've been chasing me the whole time. Alright. Dude, are you gonna get out? Come on, man. Dude, stop turning. I can't knock you out in there, and you know it. Are you for real? Why are you aggroed on me? I didn't do anything to you. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Alright. <laughs> Stupid salmon. Oh, it's just prawn. Okay. Ah, this T-Rex! Dude! I have mammoths and stuff I have to go tame. Right? Stop turning. Stop turning. There. And see, I knew it. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, well, your prime meat will be used to see if you actually hit that sucker. All right, where? Terror birds. Ooh. You're dead. You're dead. Not yet, but you will be. Terror birds, get over here. Yeah, he got hit. Really, really sucks. Alright, so hey, uh, good luck with the nap, dude. I'll see you in a bit. Um, you should be fine, man. Um, yeah, it's just Gallimimus. They'll keep guard over you. They'll watch. Alright, there's Tyrandon right there. I already cleared off all the bad guys. I mean, I don't feel bad about leaving you, dude. No, seriously. No, no, yeah, just keep eating your food. And yeah, alright, um, take it easy, dude. Right. <laughs> All right, let's get up and see if we can find a mammoth. You know, apparently, Carnos have a problem getting stuck inside of my, uh, oh, taming pen over here for the Hyenodons. I, this is like the third time this has happened. I'm really... Dude. 
I thought you were sneaking up on me, didn't you? I'm really not sure what's going on with this, but I, mean, I keep getting Carnos stuck inside of there. Dude. Hello. And apparently, he doesn't want to get hit. Alright, can I eat you? Is that a thing? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I can't hit him! Alright. Alright, come on, get out of my pen! What level are you anyway? 75, okay. Why is... Why are you being so difficult, man? Alright, all I wanted to do is eat you. Gosh. Alright, <laughs> so let's get up here. Alright, so if you're looking for a high-level mammoth, where are you gonna look? Snow? Alright, <laughs> that's really all I got. Alright, let's see. Uh, I mean, because uh, now it's just gonna be a simple measure of going out, taking a look at all the different levels as we go through each individual one. And there, we see the mammoth in the wild. It's level five, and not what we want, so it can die to all those direwolves that are over there. What are you? Oh, not Deodons, no. All right, what about you? What are you? All right, 115, no. All right, so if you guys were higher level, I would save you from the direwolves, but you're not higher level, so I'm not going to. Here's some more direwolves. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna get out here. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna find one, a high level one, hopefully, and, oh, woolly rhino. 10, later. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I do have plans that in this uh, series, we're gonna tame each individual dino that we can find, Uteranus, for you. 15, of course. All right, yeah, we're gonna tame every single thing there is to tame on the island, so, I mean, yeah, eventually. And so, it just seems right now, you know, we've got these guys on the menu. Hopefully, maybe. Hello. Dude, get away from me, man. I didn't do nothing. All right, oh, you were hidden, you were camouflaged. 15, no, you suck. All right, all right, I'm gonna get looking around a little bit more, probably work my way over to the back side, maybe. Oh, there's a gig over there. Hmm. I'll see what all I can do. All right. All right. Well, hey, I will see you guys in a bit. All right. Let's get these direwolves killed because I found a couple cool ones. And th this pack right here, while I was looking around, it was it was uncanny. It's as I was. Oh, you actually survived the slaughter over there, dude. I mean, this pack of direwolves. There was this field right here used to have about ten mammoths in it right here. And as I'm not sure what was going on. But as I would check from one mammoth to the next, this pack of direwolves would go around and they were just eating them as I was checking on them. And then I, I was, and then I went and I spotted this one right here. And <laughs> by the time I had spotted her, they had just killed just this last one right here. And so now I was able to go back and eat the direwolf pack. But the direwolf pack is dead now. So now we should be able to knock this little girl out. Because we've got some kibble for you. Come here. Right? Hello. Pay no attention to me. I'm just shooting things in your face. No, no, it's fine. I swear. Stop hitting me. Right? You want this kibble. I swear. Come on. Stop fighting me. Right? No, we will get this. We will get this. And I like the way your face looks. Whoa, you're up. Wow, you're already running. Boop. Right in the butt. All right? And <laughs> she's already out. Holy crap. All right. Shocking trait darts and Mastercraft long neck rifle. They rock. I swear. They rock. <laughs> All right. Well, hey. Yeah, I'm going to uh, be knocking this girl. Well, I'm going to be taming this girl. Uh, we only have 12 Raptor Kibble because I ate some of the rest or my Baryonyx did. But yeah, all right, so <laughs> let's get that. Let's get this girl all tamed up, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. I don't need any of this meat, do I? Uh, just enough for uh, for Oreo, and then other than that, I mean, oh, you know, I'll take that. All right, and later, dude. All right, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. 
All right now it should it should be enough to tame her. One kibble is eleven point three. So yeah, uh, twelve should be enough. So even though I was stupid and I ate some of it, then uh, yeah, um, that that should be enough. All right, I have to remember not to eat my raptor kibble anymore. All right, or at least give it to my baryonyx and forget to put fish on him, because that's really what happened. All right. <laughs> And she's up, but it's not what you think it is, because she ended up getting hit. So <laughs> I had to feed her a whole bunch of stim berries, get her butt to wake up, and it's been a while of me just giving her a bunch of stim berries. But now, hopefully, she'll be hungry, and still like some darts in the face. That'll be good. That'll be good. There you go, right there in the face. Oh, come on, girl. All right. Dude. You know what's going on here, right? You've been through this before. Right. Okay, I was I was hoping that those stim berries <laughs> weren't still going because I fed her a bunch. I mean, I've just been out here. Hello? Still playing music? Right, let's let's check. All right, her food's way down now because yeah. There we go. Oh, come on, just eat up, girl. Let's see. <laughs> One, how far are you going to go? 68, 79.1, 90.4. Yeah, she's ours. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe that. <laughs> All right, so what are we going to call her? Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, well, she's big and she's hairy. Uh. Wanda. Yeah, it's just... I, I, I'm i thinking Wanda just fits her just perfectly. I'm not saying that people named... Women named Wanda are hairy. I'm just saying that's the name that came to my mind. Right? So, I'm sorry if your name is Wanda and you're not hairy. Because this is not meant to be that kind of thing. But let's take a look at her stats. All right. Besides, she's big and tough and strong. Yeah, that that's what I'm going for here. <laughs> really? All right, so uh, 6290 health. That's really good. Uh, well, that's actually, that's that, that's pretty good. Uh, 333 melee damage, not bad whatsoever. Uh, 1287 stamina. Eh, that's, that's actually pretty good. 790 weight, that's not as good. But we will eventually get that way high up. Because this right here is going to be... Our new wood gathering machine. All right, so come on, Wanda. Let's get you up here. And I realized that you're not a fish called Wanda. You're a mammoth named Wanda. So yeah. All right, because that's that's what I'm going for here. And you're slow. All right. Well, I'm gonna get her back to base, and then we're gonna get a saddle on her, and then we're gonna go out and grab a whole ton of wood. All right. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right, back at base, and let's see if we can get a saddle for her maid. Uh, let's see, mammoth. Uh, yeah, cool. That'll work. Alright, um, and I'm not sure what colors, I mean, she was, like, black and silver and stuff, so we're, we're gonna have to dye that up just a little bit. Alright, give me a minute, I'm gonna dye it up, make it look all spiffy for her, and then, yeah. Alright, let's see. Where's, uh, silver, yes. Black and silver, no green on you this time. Alright. Let's see. Bam. Um... No. Go silver there. Yes, silver there. Okay. Um, black there. Let's see. Black there. No, silver there. Yep, silver. Uh, black. And black. Cool. Sweet. All right, let's uh, get this out on her. And then uh, let's go. Oh, she's kind of got, like, this little purplish thing. Huh. Silver will work. Oh, what? 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 Thought I could have swore I died those... Ah, all right, fine. Fine, fine, if that's... If you don't want to. All right, and then we ended up killing a few alphas on the way back home. So, <laughs> she's got a few levels on her. Um, Let's see, let's get her health up just a little bit. Where we don't have too much to worry about her getting her butt kicked. And then let's just start pumping weight. Alright, 948 weight already. You haven't even grabbed a single piece of wood for us yet. 
All right, you ready, girl? All right. The only problem with these things is they're slow. <laughs> they're really slow. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get over here. Start grabbing some wood. And yeah, I think that, but I think that's really, that's gonna do it for the episode. I mean, what did we do today? Well, we went out and we started getting, well, we set up the shack up by uh, the uh, Megapithecus area. And then we got that all situated. And then we had to go out and start hunting for Thylacolio hook, um, the hook claws. And that was kind of a pain in the butt. But yeah, and then also we get some uh, um, Spino sails. And Spino sails, they're, they're not easy. Hello? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, and Spino sails, they're really, really not easy. So, I think those ones are probably gonna take us a little bit, and then after, and then probably in the next, uh, probably next, well, maybe here in just a little bit, I'm gonna head out and go head down and see if I can find some Megalania uh, toxin, and I'll have to take a look, see if I've got some, because I know I've killed quite a few Megalania so far on this playthrough. I'm just not sure what I did with the toxin, if I saved it. All right. But hey, if you like the video, click that like button. I really appreciate that. It really helps me out. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate that just as much. It helps me out as well. All right, so hey, until next time, this is Flinger Foo and uh, Wanda. And take it easy, everyone. <laughs> take it easy, everyone.